SARE is South African Indie Revolution. It is a writer's community and writer's event I launched last year. It is all about empowering, uplifting and inspiring young writers, readers and bloggers alike. What I hope to create is a community where we can support each other as writers, publishers, bloggers, readers, anyone in the industry, um, designers and just help empower each other and build a platform where we can inspire young writers and readers alike. With this, um, we will take the books to the streets and hand out to kids from book clubs. The Pavement Bookworm Foundation, I actually met Falani at a bloggers event last year. And I was quite inspired by his life story, what he's done, what he's accomplished in his life. If you don't know his background, just hit them up on Pavement Bookworm Foundation. And um, he basically does the same that I am trying to achieve, is to go out to the streets and inspire young children to read. He's more working with underprivileged kids, where they don't have the money or they don't have the facilities to have books and to read. And he helps them out with a lot of their homework and so on. And I thought, you know, we're doing the same thing, why don't we just work together? So I invited Filani as an honoured guest and I said to him, I'm going to try and collect a thousand books for you and if you need my help, we can start the book clubs wherever you need and we hope to reach as many underprivileged kids as we can and just help them getting started on the road of their future. First, it starts with and maybe a song or something I see in the street and I get this feeling and I get this picture like with Dead of Night it was a, a song from Bastille and the chorus goes like I see a woman and I see a man I see forbidden love and I see a dystopian world and I see fighting to death and I think this is how it's going to happen so you get to the computer and you start writing for writers out there who are starting their first novel the process goes as follows. You write your first draft, the story comes out. If you're a planner, plan the story. I'm not a planner. I just write and the words come out, the characters come out. And then you go to your draft two, which is filling in the gaps, fleshing out the details, getting the scenery, the smells, the feelings, the emotions in there. From there you will revise, from there you will revise again, and from there you will self-edit. Then you might either send it to an editor, which I really think you should do, and then your editor will send it back and forth three times to you, and from there you can query agents, or you can take on the publishing industry as well. Sarah Book Festival is happening in Monte Cassino, the 30th of April, Scoop Theatre of Books. It starts at 3 p.m. and it's 200 rand a ticket where all profits go towards the cause of a thousand books for the foundation. And what people can look forward to is we've got a ton of prizes for writers that attend. We've got a ton of prizes for readers attending and we've got a 250 rand voucher from Yumi Sushi Bar in Monte Casino up for grabs. We've got photo shoots, um, we've got some PR work for authors out there if you're looking for PR. We've got free PR for a month and we have got a lot of guest authors attending. Sam Marshall from the SABC is attending as a speaker and we can look forward to just a social evening with some drinks and some eats gathering together and talking about what we love, books, stories, people, writing, photography. Thank you.
first one took me four weeks. Yeah. Oh. I was done. Yeah. And then the editing and everything started. The second book took me 12 tries. Mm. Because now you're reading reviews. And yeah. people are saying this character is weak and la 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 or I don't like this one. And you're taking in what people are saying. Yeah. And sometimes it's a good thing, but sometimes it's not a good thing because your doubt comes in and then you think, ah, oh, scrap it. Ah, oh, scrap it. <laughs> but um you just have to go.